They committed horrific attacks of sexual violence. In many cases, these terrorists recorded their acts of barbarity and carnage, chilling, documenting the unspeakable atrocities they committed for others to see. This morning, the President and the First Lady lit a Yartzeit candle to remember all those who were massacred by Hamas in what was the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. The President and the First Lady were joined by Rabbi Aaron Alexander of Adas Israel Congregation for the candle lighting in remembrance of the victims of the October 7th attacks. I am devastated by the pain and loss that occurred on October 7th. And Doug and I pray for the family and loved ones of all of those who were lost. And may their memories be a blessing. Today, we plant a pomegranate tree, which in Judaism is a symbol of hope and righteousness. So for years to come, this pomegranate tree will stand here, spreading its roots and growing stronger to remind future vice presidents of the United States, their families, and all who pass through these grounds, not only of the horror of October 7th, but the strength and the endurance of the Jewish people. That more than 1,000 people, including 32 innocent American citizens were killed. Many do not know that 252 people, including 12 Americans, were taken hostage by Hamas and that Hamas has held American citizens hostage this entire time. I know, of course, it was Israel and it was Jewish people who were most affected by what happened on October the 7th. But we can't ever let the American media, we can't ever let our fellow citizens forget that October the 7th was not just an attack on Israel and it was not just an attack on Jews, it was an attack on Americans and every single American of common sense and principle must reject it.